Hi traders, 25th of January 2019, uh, Friday 1326. So quick video about testing Trendline Trader Pro and how you can basically force trades and a few comments about parameter settings. So had a customer who was struggling to get trades to trigger and the reason being was he was using really big sensitivity channels so like 15 pips or so and what happens if you put a 15 pip sensitivity channel on this trend line here you'll see when we get a tick this channel will lift up to 15 pips above the trend line and the reason that the system won't take a trade with these st uh, standard stop loss at 15 here is because one the stop loss needs to be below the trend line and two the stop loss needs to be at least twice the sensitivity channel so but it needs to be so if the, you're using 15 pip sensitivity channel you need to use a 31 pip stop loss if you put 30 pip stop loss in there trade still won't trigger but notice what happens when you put a 31 pip stop loss on there when you get a tick you'll find that you get a trade as so so that's a pretty much the the basics of the issue the same thing obviously on a sell side trade exactly the same thing applies make sure that the stop loss is is two times the sensitivity channel plus one pip otherwise it won't work so if you are using big sensitivity channels um bear that in mind the other thing as well to bear in mind is let's say for example i close this order and you notice the order interval is one minute but the trick here is single order only was selected for this trend line doesn't matter what you do with this trend line it will only trade once and as it's traded once already because single order only is selected game over it won't trade again even if you turn single order off it's set in the system so it won't trade again so the only way around it is to delete it and draw another trend line if you are testing i just recommend always turning single order off as soon as you've drawn the trend line it's a default option so turn single order off select your trading behavior configure your stop loss take profits and sensitivity channels you don't need massive sensitivity channels unless you are trying to force trades but if you are trying to force trades by lifting this channel up just bear in mind the stop loss needs to be at least two times the sensitivity channel plus one so again long touch entered there the other thing as well when you've got your trades triggered turn the grid off and now you can control the stop loss and take profit levels just by dragging the sl and tp levels in trendline trader pro but make sure you set this use alt key to drag trade levels so if i want to change that take profit level i can just do that very quickly and those settings are then updated in the interface as you can see a particular customer was talking about slanted stop loss levels or slope stop loss levels so i guess what they're talking about here is trying to sort of create a stop loss profile like that um that's going to be pretty difficult to do um because in mt4 the stop loss will always be trying to see what it's done here it's basically then put another order in but flatten the actual stop loss level for that new order um once the level is set it's a physical level for the stop loss uh and it's committed onto the broker's server so slanted stop loss levels are going to be very tricky to implement there is a way to do it but it involves it's, it's a little bit technical so let's say for example these two this trend line let's just turn the max order max orders and we'll make it single order only and i want the order interval to be 1440 which is one day and i'm going to do so that means it won't take any more orders now and let's say i wanted to i've got now i've got two lots long on here so each each position is one full lot uh, it's a five thousand dollar account and demo i'm over leveraging it really so don't copy me 
it's a very quick way to blow your cash. But if you wanted to have a a level, um, now you've you've got two lots in the market, and you wanted to have some kind of it's really a take profit level. Really, it's not really a stop loss. Um, but if you wanted to have a slanting take profit level, what you could do is set another trend line up up here with a sell touch and set it up so it's trading two lots short. If you decide to go down this road where you've you've already in the market, you're two lots long and you want to have some kind of slanted take profit level and you don't want to use trailing stops because the other way to achieve effectively a dynamic take profit level is to use a, a trailing stop which is going to ratchet up behind price action by a set number of pips however if you don't like that and you want to try and be a bit clever and you want to use this sort of slanted take profit level you can do so by using an additional trend line set up to counter trade the existing position down here and what would happen if this trend line gets touched is it would open a short position which would counteract the existing long position and depends on the type of account you're using here so if it's a FIFO account that's great because basically the two positions would cancel each other out and that's it end of end of game if it's not a FIFO account you'd end up with essentially a hedged position with a locked in profit on the market and the trick there would be to make sure that the positions don't get stopped out or hit take profit levels because then you lose your hedge so if you did run this idea you it would be best to place a very big fat wide stop loss way way above and in the same in a similar way move your take profit levels way outside the price action so that if the if the order if the sell order does get hit um you're perfectly hedged and all you've got to do is you'll come back and your your profit will be locked in down there as a hedged 100% uh, hedge position and it will be fixed and it will just stay static the whole time and then you just close both positions and lock profit in so it's kind of to be honest with you I don't really see the uh, logic in um, kind of using a trend line or a slanted line for a an exit unless of course you trade your channel based trading but i would have thought it's fairly obvious if you are trading in a channel that you could define um your take profit levels based upon prior support and resistance if if it is channel based trading or wedge based trading or some kind of pattern then then you could use this hedging strategy to uh dynamically come out of the market based upon a, a trend or a pro how price action behaves around a trend so complicated um you know it's not something i would necessarily jump into i'd rather just uh unilaterally trade and then set uh my so that's kind of it really guys um you know if you are struggling with um with testing the system out bear in mind that sensitivity level and a stop loss so uh stop loss should always be at least two times the sensitivity value plus one pip um, otherwise you'll struggle to get things to behave as you think they should in the same way be aware of single order only if you have that on when the trade is placed it will the trend line will only execute once period so hopefully that kind of answers some of the questions which a particular customer was having thanks for watching